I come out here this afternoon. My name is uh, Jimmy Goodman, um, but I'm not out here uh, to let you know what my name is. I'm out here with my pastor to share you the uh, share with you the name of Jesus Christ. We're out here to uh, just give you a little bit of hope, just to give you a little bit of word and let you understand what it was that you heard when you were a child and you heard when you went to Sunday school or you heard when you went to a vacation Bible school or you heard from your elders. I want to. I'm out here to tell you about Jesus Christ who came. And He walked this earth and he, he ministered to people and He walked this earth and He gave His life for your sins. God, God uh, in the beginning, started out with some commandments. And He told us a way we're supposed to live our lives. And He saw that we couldn't live our lives thoroughly. And so He gave His Son, Jesus Christ. I want each and every one out here to know that Jesus Christ loves you. But I want you to understand something else. God loves you. And since God does love you, He will be a righteous judge. He will be a good father. And a good father will discipline his children. And a good father, with every single commandment or everything that he gives, or every time he sets up a rule, he will have consequences to those. And I will tell you, those, con that co those consequences will, find you, will cause you to find yourself in the pits of hell. And I want you to know there's a way out. The way out's not through your good deeds. Not, not just because you're a good person, not because you help somebody, not because you give to somebody, not because you help somebody. The only way you're going to save yourself from the, the consequences is just to believe in Jesus Christ, to believe in Him, and to turn away from your sins, to turn away from those things that you know that you're doing wrong, to turn away from the life that you've lived that you know is not right before God. I'm out here to tell you that there's, there's hope for each and every individual out here. I want, to, I want to talk to a people who have a president that people call a savior. I want to talk to you about a group of people, or I want to talk to a group of people here this afternoon that worship a show called American Idol, where we put singers and entertainers and call them idols, and we appreciate them greater than we appreciate the Lord God Almighty. I'm out here to tell you that there's something greater than anything that you'll find in this world, something that won't pass away, something that won't just fade. I'm out here telling you about God. I'm out here telling you about Jesus Christ. I want you to understand who He is, where, where that He came here, and what He did. I want everybody out here to understand that Jesus Christ loves you, and I want you to understand that God loves you. I want you to understand that God is called a righteous judge. Let me tell you what it means to be a righteous judge. A judge gives consequences for the law. If you break the law, you have to pay a fine, you have to do community service, or you have to go to jail. If He's a good judge, what He will do, if you commit a crime, He's going to punish you. Now, if you went out and you, com you committed a crime and the judge just decided, okay, we're just going to let you off, and you go out and you commit a crime and somebody went out and committed murder or whatever, and the judge just let you off, then eventually you would realize that he's not a righteous judge. But our God is truly a righteous judge, and he said that if you break the law, there will be consequences. And since he is a righteous judge, he will deliver the consequences like he said he would. And it says that it says that each and every one of us will one day stand before the throne of judgment. Each and every one of us will stand before God and will have to give an account of every word we've spoken, every deed we've done, everything we've done when we, we walk this earth. We'll have to confess that before God. And at that time, he will judge us. And he'll judge us according to the word. He'll judge us according to the way that we're supposed to live for him. He'll judge us according to holiness. He says that we're supposed to be holy, for He is holy. And we're supposed to live holy lives, or at least try, and repent of our sins, and repent of our evil ways, and turn away, and to cling to Him. But I want you to know this. What if you had to stand before the judge because you, you committed a crime? Let's say that you've done something really hideous, and He, he just put a fine before you, in the, and, and you couldn't pay this fine. And he's going to throw you in jail if you can't pay this fine. And let's say that all of a sudden somebody comes along and says, Look, I want to pay that fine for you. I want to pay your fine to keep you out of jail. Well, I want you to understand that Jesus Christ did that for you. He came and He gave His life. He paid the price. He paid the fine for your sins. He paid the fine for your unholy living so that you can make it into the kingdom of heaven. 
He, through Him, you can be righteous. I will tell you, you cannot create yourself righteous. You cannot make yourself righteous. Righteous. The only way you're going to be righteous is through Jesus Christ, believing in Him, understanding Him, and just seeking Him. And and you can't you can't understand Him or know Him without hearing about Him. So we're out here today trying to tell you about Jesus Christ, who does love you. I pray that everybody that hears my voice will hear what we're trying to tell you. We're trying to tell you that there's hope and there's life. We're out here trying to tell you that, 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 that when you leave this life, you're going to one or two places. You're going to heaven and you're going to hell. We're not here trying to condemn you. We're out here trying to tell you the truth. We're out here in love. We love you. And since we do love you, we don't want you to suffer. We don't want you to die. We don't want you to go to, to a fiery pit called hell. We don't want you doing that. We don't want you to have to suffer a bad life here. We want you to have life and life more abundantly that is promised in the Word by Jesus Christ that through Him you will have life and life more abundantly. We're out here trying to tell you that Jesus Christ loves you. Please understand this. Please hear my voice. At this time, I want to go ahead and pray for those that are listening to me, if you would. Jesus Christ, we come to you asking that you just uh, touch in each, each and every person's heart. Father, put this word in their heart and let them understand what you did. God, I ask that you just turn your wrath and your anger, anger from these people through the name of Jesus Christ. We ask that they just uh, accept Jesus Christ in their heart. To turn away from their evil ways and just to uh, serve you and get a relationship with you. Thank you, Father. In Christ's name we pray.